Hey, what's up guys? How have you been? It's been a while since I had a camera set up like this, but today we're going to be installing the Momo Mod 78 steering wheel on my 1999 Mazda Miata. But first, let me go ahead and show you the steering wheel and then let me go ahead and show you the die case steering hub that I bought for the Mazda 2. So what's cool about this die case Mazda hub is that it is a direct fit to the 99 Mazda Miata and it has a slot for the uh, wiring for the horn and um, airbag to fit under. That way you don't have to do any modifications or anything like that. But let me go ahead and show it to you guys. I think it's really cool. Alright guys, so this is the Momo steering wheel. This is the 320 diameter Mod 78. It comes with the backing plate. I guess you ground that. This is the button button for the horn. And then I didn't, I, I thought it didn't come with screws. So I ordered a um, set of screws, but this is the one that comes with it. So if you're buying the Momo steering wheel, they do give you screws. I didn't know that, but this is the wheel. And then to install the steering wheel, uh, so what you're gonna need to get is the steering hub. Now, if you have a Mazda Miata like me, uh, I went with the Boss die kit kit. Now, the reason why I went with this kit is that um, I wanted to retain the horn and airbag um, without cutting the those wires because I wanted to make sure they're all connected. So. Um, it comes with the resistor right here that pl is plug and play, and it also comes with the horn connector right here. So that's going to be in there. And then it also has like the plates and all that. Open this one in a second, but let me go ahead and take this out. So this right here is the actual hub. This is just the cover. So this is the actual hub right here. So you can see the little spines right here and then the little markings. And this is right. This is what. I thought it was cool that it has this little um, section cut out already put in place so you could feed the horn and airbag buttons through here. So basically the horn will cover the, or the cover will cover the excess wiring so you just tuck everything in there and it will basically just be like this. So you're not going to really see anything. This was probably the biggest factor why I chose the die K one because I wanted the resistor with the for the horn right there. Even they even put like the shrink wrap right there for you. So that's pretty cool. Got some instructions, but yeah, so that's basically the kit. We're going to go ahead and install this tomorrow. So I'm going to cut to the next day. All right guys. So today we're going to be installing the steering wheel. I have the plate that came with the die hub. So it's a flat plate. This is the ground right here. And then this is the horn. So the horn is going to attach to the wire over here. But basically you want to just have the um, here let me actually take it out so let me show you guys how to do this so so that's the spring this will come off all right so you're basically just aligning the top with one of this so you want to make sure that the pattern's like this way and then once you have that put in you want to put it through the front like this so put it through the front and then from this is the back side of the steering wheel like that, line up the hole. Make sure everything is good, lined up. I could rotate a little bit the little plate in the back. All right. And what you're going to want to do next is take this little spring right here. You're going to want to put it like that, bend the one side so it's under this, under this, and then take the this bottom part, bend it. And put it on the other loops. And you might want to rotate this, but right here should be fine. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna rotate this a little bit. So right. Oh, I was pushing it too hard, so so it doesn't fall back out. I'm not gonna push it too hard. So I'll get it under those loops. Perfect. Just like that. See how it's like within everything. For the hub, you're gonna want the closer one inner. And then this will be on the outside. And that basically just holds this piece. This is from the die K hub. And that will stop the uh, cover from sliding too far down. So you want to just, I guess you just leave that there for now. Okay, so before we do anything, you're going to want to get a 10 mil. And basically, we're going to disconnect the battery on the positive side. And if you want to be extra safe, you can try turning the car um to on and just kind of getting just releasing the excess voltage whatever you want to call it but all right now we're going to work on getting the steering wheel and airbag off and getting all this disconnected right here but 
Um, let me go ahead and show you what it's like for me sitting. So this is with my knees together. Like see how it touches it. My seat is as far as it can go and it's not, <laughs> it's not comfortable. So hopefully with this diameter, it looks like it will clear a little bit, but I'm worried that the die K hub is, is not that long. And if it's not that long, it's going to be a little bit closer to the back. But we shall see what happens. Because if anything, I can buy a quick release hub. And that should extend the entire steering wheel forward. Maybe it's like right here. But we'll see after we get the steering wheel off. Alright. So to get the steering or the uh, airbag and steering wheel off, we're first going to have to get the airbag out. So if you look on the side, you're going to see this little grommet. Go ahead and pop that out. And then you're going to have a 10 mil bolt here that you'll need to take out. And then seam on the left side, right here. Alright, so I have my 10 on an extension. Okay, so I have that loose. I'm going to try to go on the other side just in case I need more leverage or something. Dude, there's a lot of helicopters. What the hell is going on? Alright, so I'll leave that down there. So I slid it off this clip right here and then I'm just gonna disconnect that, it looks like. Okay, so let me just show you guys this into depth. So this is the NB airbag, right? Your NA might be different. So if you're looking at it from behind, what you're gonna wanna do is slide it out like that. And then on this clip, you can have this really light, you have this long um, clip. What I did was basically press the clip, get my finger on in there, held it from this clip like that and just pull this part out makes it a lot easier so now i see this other clip for the um horn ground i'm just going to take this out because it's connected to that and i don't think i'm going to need it so this right here should be a 21 mil so after taking the airbag out what you're going to want to do next is get this um bolt out which is a 21 mil i don't have an impact so i'm going to try to hold the wheel i think you could lock it Okay, hold on. So I locked it. Alright. So now that I locked it, I want to kind of get it back into the right spot. You don't really want to take it all the way out. So, that right there is good. So you just want to hit it. Oh, the screw. And then wiggle. And it came loose. So we're going to go ahead and take this out. So this is a 21 millimeter bolt, guys. All right, and it pulls right, pulls right out. So I guess this will have to sit on the outside. Oh wait, I have it upside down. So for this boss hub, so make sure this is on the bottom. That, shoot, I hope. Oh yeah, it still kind of touches it, but it's not as bad as before. So if I had it like on a hub, it'd probably be a lot better. So let me show you why I like the Dike hub a lot, because they give you the OEM wiring to plug into the placement or whatever the ports so basically remember that horn wire that i disconnected this one's a new one that's going to connect to the horn on here so i'm gonna plug this one in and it should be long enough and this is the resistor so basically it just goes like that all right and you have your resistors so it's probably just going to stay in here should be too shouldn't be too bad but this will go through here and then remember we got to line it up so see this side for the clock spring make sure it lines up with this too so that's above and that's the bottom and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that in again so like that cool and for now I will was it this way okay so the round side is outside okay so now that you have all the wiring in like and the resistor in um, to do your plate, this is the die K plate, so make sure the sharp edge on the inside circle is facing the back, so it's pointing towards um, the back of the steering wheel. And this is the ground wire, 
their ground wire is going to be connected to this little um basically this plate right here that is originally folded downwards but i bent it up and it should fit right in here it should clear that space that um section of the uh steering or the hub that's how you're gonna have to do it now now that we have that i just need to tighten the steering wheel hub so make sure it's on foot pounds i'm gonna go to 30 and i am just gonna go 36 and make sure yep so i'm gonna make sure everything is being held in place all right so basically what i'm doing is i'm putting the steering wheel on without the plate just because i need more leverage I'm gonna lock it. And just make sure. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Okay, so now that, that we have that going, I have to redo this. So there's four tabs right here. The four tabs align with the hub right here. Clips on. And you just basically, I guess, wanna leave that in there so that goes like that I mean you could probably throw like a tissue or something in there so it doesn't like rattle but I guess we'll we'll find out if that's an issue and then we're gonna go ahead and connect this and then we're actually gonna replug the battery in and make sure the horn works hand tightening it for now and then i'm actually going to use the allen key to torque i don't have a torque tool small enough for that but backyard mechanic tight is tight <laughs> i'm just kidding guys got everything on the horn works a little quickie <laughs> just to show you guys that it does work everything's good have this as tight as i can can get it i don't want to strip the boat because it looks like i will but pretty solid um before see the wheel would be a little bit lighter or wider in diameter so would, i'd always hit it trying to go for the brakes but now i can just drive normally before i'd have to like sit so wide and like press the brakes like on the edge like this and it would just it would just make my it would just be so uncomfortable so like after like eight months of driving my knee would like hurt but this is so nice like it doesn't even touch like i can move to the brakes without hitting the wheel super nice but yeah i mean that's about it i mean if you have have any questions about anything feel free to hit me up but that's basically it guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace